Hello children, today I want to show you how to test acids in bases by using litmus papers. So here I am taking few samples. So lemon juice and now tomato juice. Yes, I am squeezing some juice onto the watch glasses. And later a cucumber is taken there. And so some amount of water. I mixed baking soda in the water. Uh, that is that. And... Soap, okay, this is vinegar. So, vinegar also contain acid as we know. So, it is also I am taking in the watch glass. Okay, these are the samples and one more sample I just wanted to take. Uh, that is a soap water. So, I just have the soap. So, that soap water also I am taking in the watch glass. Yes, now we will test whether they, which substances contain acids or bases by using the blue litmus paper. So, this is a blue litmus paper you can see here. So, which is very blue in color. So, we will check one by one substance by using this blue litmus paper. So, just first, pay, first I dipped. So, when I dipped in the solution, the blue litmus changed to red litmus. So, red color. That means the substance that contain acid. So, because blue changes to red only in the acidic substance. Yes. And the next one. One more substance I am dipping. Here the blue litmus paper does not change to any color. That means the substance is a basic substance. And one more I am dipping it in one more substance. So, here also. So, it also does not change. So, it also contain. It is also basic substance. Yes. And one more. So, I am putting, uh, dipping in the tomato paste. So, we will see that. So, tomato. So, see here. Blue litmus change to red. That means tomato contain acid. So, acidic substances. Here also cucumber. I am taking it. So, putting the blue litmus paper on the cucumber. So, here you can observe. That is blue litmus change to the red color. That is here. We can understand the blue litmus change to the red color only in the acids. And blue litmus remain blue in bases. So, here one more substance. So, it also changed to the red color. That means that is a acidic substance. So, by using this blue litmus, we can understand which are acidic and which are basic. Now, coming to the red litmus paper. So, we will test with the red litmus. So, I am dipping one by one as we have did. So, here red litmus paper I dipped it. So, uh, we did not observe any change. So, that is uh, acid only. And here also we have uh, no change appears. So, it is also acidic substance. So, here I am dipping in one more substance. So, it also an acid. So, acids will not change to any color. So, red litmus will be red color in the acids. And now we are taking one more. So, it's, it changed to the blue color. That means that substance is a basic substance. So, only red litmus paper change to blue only in the basic substances. So, here one more substance. So, we will see what happens here. So, one more it is tomato. Uh, yeah, here one more substance. So, it also slightly change it to blue. So, this contain. I think it is, it is not change. It did not change at all. Yeah, one more. So, we will have the cucumber. We will see. So, I am putting on tomato, I am putting red litmus. So, red litmus will remain red itself. Why? Because already it is red. So, tomato is an acid. Tomato contain an acid. So, if you observe here, only the red litmus changes to blue only in the basic substances. So, by this activity, we can know which are acidic and which are basic. And now, again, I am taking uh, cucumber and I am putting the red litmus paper on that. So, cucumber already it is having the acid in it. So, that's what it did not change to any color. So, red, li red litmus paper remained red color.